So, you've bought Dragon for your Mac, and you think, hey, this is the biggest creative platform in the world, right? Most writers are using uh, a Mac of some variety, so everything's going to just work perfectly. <sighs> Afraid not. Um, what we're going to demonstrate today is some of the problems Dragon for Mac has within the different word processing platforms uh, on the Mac. Now, you would think that <laughs> Dragon would just work perfectly in all of them. It doesn't. Uh, and it's the same on the Windows side to some degree. Uh, Dragon struggles a little bit. It's certainly not as uh, slick in something like, say, LibreOffice, uh, but it works absolutely fine in Microsoft Word, for example. But what I'm going to show you here are the various methods you can use or various apps you can use with Dragon and whether you actually should. Um, now, I advocate, as you know, uh, using text edit and just copying and pasting from text edit into whatever you want to use from there. And I'll show you why. If we open up text edit here, wake up. This is a test of dictation using text edit on a Mac. Full stop. New paragraph. It might not be very pretty and it might not give you any editing options as such, comma, but as you can see, everything just works. And when you want to make corrections, that's also pretty simple and stable, full stop. Go to sleep. So there you go. As you can see, it just, it just works, okay? No, no issues whatsoever. And if I did want to change something, um, you'll notice that the cursor doesn't go on this little journey back through the text. Uh, it actually just jumps to wherever it is that I want to go. So, um, I'll, well, I'll quickly show you. Wake up. Wake up. Select editing. Go to sleep. See, bang, just instantly selected it. Uh, that's what's called full text control uh, on the Mac, and it works perfectly in something like text edit. So we'll get rid of that. Let's try uh, a few different things. We're going to go first with Scrivener. Now watch the difference. You may have seen this in a previous video. Wake up. This is a test of dictation using Scrivener. Full stop. As you can see, comma, because it does not give the program full text control, comma, things get a little wonky. Full stop. Capitalize Scrivener. Correct fall. Full. Correct fall. Choose two. Go to end. Go to sleep. There you go. You see how um, how how slow that was. I mean, it's literally having to just move a character at a time through the text. Um, so it's 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 not ideal. You can use it, but it's not ideal. And what you tend to find, obviously, this is just one sentence, but. What you tend to find is when you dictate quite a lot, the, the cursor just gets confused and starts um, going all over the place. But I've got another video on that, so, so go and have a look at that. So we'll get rid of Scrivener. Let's have a look at... Uh, let's have a look at Pages. Now this is Apple's own uh, word processing software that comes with every Mac now. Wake up. Now we are testing dictation using Apple's own pages software. Full stop. New paragraph. As you can see, comma, this also isn't as slick or efficient as dictating into text edit. Full stop. Capitalize pages. Go to end. 
go to sleep. Same again, you see how it has to move through the text one character at a time. Again, because it's just, it's not got full text control. And the problem with this is it just means it's going to take forever to make any sorts of corrections in your document. And even if it works, which nine times out of ten it won't, it'll end up getting confused and putting the cursor in the wrong place. And then it'll capitalise the wrong word. And So, not ideal at all. So let's get rid of pages. Let's try, let's try LibreOffice. Now LibreOffice is uh, similar to OpenOffice. They're actually, you know, both share the same code, and it's a free, um, probably the leading free Office suite. So let's take a look at this. Wake up. This is a test of dictation using LibreOffice on a Mac Mini with Dragon version 5, full stop. New paragraph. Again, comma, it appears that we don't have full text control. And let's see if we encounter any problems when we decide to do some corrections or edits, full stop. Capitalize LibreOffice. Undo last action. Go to end. Go to sleep. Okay, so that's a disaster. I mean, LibreOffice just does not like it at all, or Dragon doesn't like LibreOffice, whichever one it is. Uh, as you can see, that's just completely unreliable. And it just got completely confused in the middle of a sentence there. Wake up. Go to end. Go to end. Go to sleep. So it's not even able to get to the end of the line um, where we dictated to. So I'm going to put my mouse at the end here put and, and do a cache document and see if that helps. Wake up. Cache document. Capitalize LibreOffice. Go to sleep. No, that's a disaster. There's no way you can use that. So I wouldn't I wouldn't use LibreOffice at all with Dragon. That's just a complete no no. Okay, um and finally, uh well it's not finally, we're gonna come to the big one soon. Um but we're gonna look at Google Docs. Now Google Docs has traditionally been um, a bit of a disaster on all platforms when, when it comes to using Dragon. I have it running here in the Chrome browser, um, but it surprisingly doesn't work too bad. Let's have a look. Wake up. Wake up. This is a test of dictation using Dragon for Mac version 5 in Google Docs. Full stop. New paragraph. I am using the Chrome browser and comma as you can see comma things look a little jerky but everything is actually dictating as I would expect. Full stop. Capitalize Chrome. Go to end. Go to sleep. So there you go. It's not pretty, but it works. And the interesting thing about Google Docs is this used to be something that just didn't work at all uh, with Dragon, but it, it's working okay. It, it's a little clunky looking. It seems you notice how the, the cursor was juddering about a bit, but it it worked and it and it capitalized Chrome uh, as I wanted it to. Uh, which was something we couldn't do in LibreOffice. The interesting thing about dictating into Google Docs, of course, is that absolutely everything you were doing is, is being saved, as it says here. So, um, you know, if, if it does screw something up, at least you're not going to lose all your work. If Dragon crashes um, and it's not going to, you know, if it takes the, the Chrome browser down with it, which is unlikely, um, then you're not going to lose your work. It's all saved to your Google Drive. So um, 
The last one we're going to look at, and it's an important one, um, is Word, Microsoft Word 2016 for the Mac. So this is the latest version of Word for the Mac, version 2016. If you have an Office 365 subscription, you'll have already got this. Uh, so let's give this a try. This is a test. This is a test of dictation on the Mac using, oh, now, there we go, go to sleep. Now there's a problem I have seen happen pretty much every time I use Word 2016 on the Mac, <laughs> bang it crashes word completely and we didn't even get through one sentence there i've had that work i've had that crash after a couple of paragraphs i've had it crash after a couple of sentences but that was one sentence that is the most recent version of dragon with the most recent update of word so everything is completely up to date and it's crashed it now you notice and this this happens every time just just so you know so you notice we've got the option recover work and restart Microsoft Word. Well, there's a problem there. If we click OK, we'll find nothing happens. There we go. Now, can you see the video breaking up over here? Look at that. So Dragon is obviously taking up crazy resources right now. Let's, let's try exiting Dragon, see if it makes a difference. No, this has really caused havoc. Okay, so we had a complete nut of meltdown there, complete system crash, um, all brought down by Dragon when it was working with Word. Um, what can I say? I mean, it, this is the state of affairs with Dragon for Mac and Word processing. Uh, it, it's just a joke really we're on dragon for mac version 5 this is the fifth version of the product it's the fifth update it's version 505 we have the latest version of word we have the latest version of mac os 10 and you just saw what happened and it's not good enough nuance it's really not sorted out you know we're talking about the the most popular word processing program on the planet here and in there sales literature nuance make a big thing of the fact that it works with word 2016 well it doesn't as you can clearly see um and unless you've got auto recover set up for every minute you are going to lose work but even then that's not enough you know there's a lot of dictation you can do in a minute um so what are the solutions well dragon itself if you use the dragon pad that's built in if dragon crashes takes all your work with it don't recommend that word Completely unusable, completely unstable. Don't recommend that. Uh, LibreOffice, as you saw, <laughs> hopeless. Can't can't recommend that. Scrivener and Pages worked. Uh, Google Docs worked. But I have to go back to my original recommendation and just say, use text edit. I know it's not pretty. I know it's not ideal. But you got to focus on productivity and actually getting the work done here rather than having to fix problems. Um, dictate into text edit, cut and paste into something else, and you know, at least then you don't lose any work. So that's the, the state of affairs right now on the Mac. It's, it's a terrible shame. It's not good enough nuance. It's really not good enough. Sort it out. I mean, Dragon for Mac is well documented as having problems, but it should work with Word 2016, shouldn't it?